Well, the man who drafted the Paris Agreement has said that a future coalition government would not be pushed out of the accord if it endorsed a lower 2030 emissions reduction target. Let's bring in now tonight's political panel, National Senate Leader Bridget McKenzie and Labor MP Daniel Molino. Welcome to you both. Uh, Bridget, what's the thinking here? Do you think there is going to be continued pressure on the opposition leader to say what his 2030 target would be prior to the election? Well, there shouldn't be. This is simply the Labor Party attempting a scare campaign. The reality is the Labor Party set uh, a 2030 target that they can't meet. Uh, and in the middle of a cost of living crisis, Australians are absolutely sick of a federal government who can't get the story straight. Uh, I've been out tonight here in Wodonga meeting with locals who are having renewable projects rolled out uh, through their communities, through their own properties, and they've got no recourse here in Victoria, thanks to the state Labor government. So this is about having a pathway to net zero that is credible, that is based on science and technology, and that Australians can have confidence in will get us there. Right now, under Anthony Albanese with Bowen's plan, we're just trashing the joint, prices are going up, and we're not even going to meet our emissions target. And I think that's that's a great tragedy and it undermines our credibility as a middle power globally because mm. typically Australia is the country that when we say we're going to do something, we do it. And unfortunately yeah. under Albo, that's not going to be the case with the 2030 target. Daniel, as a government MP, are you disappointed and concerned that your own government isn't going to meet at this point the targets that it's set of 42% by 2030? Well, look, I wouldn't concede that we're not going to meet it, but what I would say is I agree with Bridget that we need to have science-based policy making. But after that, I think we differ in that the opposition criticises the trajectory that we're on, but they've voted consistently against just about every practical measure to bring down emissions, whether it be the safeguard mechanism, whether it be emission standards for vehicles. We're one of the few countries in the world without one. And they're running constant scare campaigns on a whole range of renewables policies. So what I'd like to hear from the opposition is what's their credible uh, strategy to get emissions down. Um, they, they really have left a massive gulf when it comes to their own policy. Uh, all they do is criticise our trajectory and yet vote against every single practical measure. Do you both agree that the public right now is worried about cost of living and doesn't want to have this debate about the climate wars again? I know, it's like Groundhog Day, Shari. And, and you know, it's too cute by half, Daniel. You guys are in government now. You've set aggressive... Uh, targets on emission reductions that are crueling our economy, uh, whether it's advanced manufacturing as you send energy prices through the roof or the private property rights of the communities that I represent out in the regions. On any measure, you've got it wrong. You're more interested in having a fight with the Greens and out-greening the Greens in inner city than actually having a credible pathway to 2050. No one else in the world is doing 100% renewables. They all have gas or nuclear as part of the firming power behind their renewable trajectories. Uh, so you're just setting us up for a pathway to fail. We're interested in having a credible, um, you know, proposition. And, Shari, I think people are absolutely sick of this. We've put this to bed. Uh, the Coalition is committed to net zero by 2050. Yeah. We're on the journey. We're just not doing it for short political gains, All right. which is why Labor's targets are over-aggressive. All right, let's have a look at the latest but Shari, on interest rates. can I just rates. correct yes, on sir. one quick point? Go for it, Daniel. Just, I'm certainly not trying to outgreen the Greens. Look, I'm in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the Greens in my seat day in, day out on a whole range of issues, including uh, climate. Labor has the middle path here. Uh, the Greens have uh, incredibly high and unrealistic and unmodelled uh, strategies, uh, which uh, I've critiqued in a number of ways uh, publicly and, and in the chamber. Labor has a path that has been uh, endorsed at the last election by the, the BCA and a range of business interests which say they want certainty going forward. Uh, so, look, Labor is definitely the party that is providing the middle way.